proudly stand in the tradition of the students who fought and succeeded in ending Vietnam and that student struggle changed history and I've no doubt that your action which is part of a global movement of student decency is going to be exactly the same this time round so my thanks really are to ye and it's not just for me personally it's for people all over people all over Ireland people all over Europe and internationally I mean we have tried to use the platform in the European Parliament to call out the actions of the European Union leaders because the truth is and we all know it that the Genocide Convention says that not only do you have an obligation not to commit genocide yourself but if you're a signatory to that convention you have an onus to prevent and punish genocide in others and not only has the European Union and the United States not done that in silence they have actually enabled and supported that is the level of their complicity. They are drenched in the blood of innocent Palestinians, no question or doubt about that. It is the US and Europe who have continued to arm Israel, 90% increase in arms from Germany since the genocide started. 32 million in dual use goods being sent from Ireland. Ireland, the so-called best friend in Europe of Palestine, in the words of Francesca Albanese, who we had the honour of having in the European Parliament, she said Ireland is great on rhetoric but has done absolutely nothing to stand by Palestine and sadly that is true but you have, you have and in your action you express the hearts and minds and the decency of people everywhere because we are met with people from every country in Europe and really all around the world complimenting the stance that we've taken because that's the stance you're taking and that's the stance that most ordinary people as well. It's